Oh yeah, there's loads of, uh, what do they call it? Crack cocaine. <laughs> Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back with the Flame Red K11 Micra, and you guessed it, it's still running like a bag of nails. It won't run right, and that is the big problem with this car. It can look beautiful. We can detail it to high heaven, but if it won't run and start, then what is the point in doing this project? In the previous video, we got the car out the garage and it started up miraculously, but the fuel inside it has been sat for 10 years. I'm not an expert, I'm not a scientist, maybe you can explain it to me, but we all know that petrol goes wrong in a fuel tank and that is exactly what I think has happened. Well, that is exactly what I hope has happened because if it isn't the fuel in the tank, that's causing the issue and the fueling issue and the running issue, then something else is at play. I didn't listen to dad. Dad said, drain the fuel tank and then stick fresh petrol in it. Me being me, I dumped 20 liters of petrol in it and said, nah, it'd be reet, and it not reet. Um, so in this video, we're gonna speak to dad. He's gonna tell us uh, what the plan is, but I think the plan looking at this is to drain the fuel tank, put fresh petrol in and fingers crossed, by the end of this video, it will be running right. If it's not running right, then we're going to have to start looking at sensors and wiring, etc. Stay with it then, because the Bag of Nails Micra, hopefully, is going to be sweet sounding by the end of this video. Good afternoon. Hello, mate. How are you? You all right? I'm all right, mate. It's roasting hot. It is. Um, in it's the pre than it has been. <laughs> yes, it is. In the previous video, we cleaned the engine bay. Let's take a look at that. And as you can see, we've uh, cleaned all that. I don't know, what would you class it Oxidisation. Sorry? Oxidisation. Oxidisation, yeah, off the top of the block here. And put some PTFE on everything, just in case we needed to get that off. But it's still not running right, is it? It looks great, but it runs like a bag of nails. Let's just recap. It's not controlling, it's idle. Let's just recap what it sounds like. So it, it won't run properly. It sounds like a bag of nails. It's misfueling. Tell me what. No, it, it'll rev up a bit. But it's just. It won't idle and it's not controlling its idle. So I'm kind of feeling it's going to be the idle control valve or something like that. Oh, okay. So it couldn't be the fuel. It could be something else. Could, we've got to try this first, haven't we? Yeah. So what's it's the, the obvious thing? It's clear and obvious thing. <laughs> the fuel's no good. I didn't listen to you, did I? I it's, dumped it's 20 litres in fuel. it. And we thought we could get away with it. What have you done to the car? Oh, who's that on the phone? I, bet it's, I bet it's your mum. What are we going to do, son? Well, I don't know. What is the plan? You tell me the plan. So we think it's a fueling issue. We hope, yeah. we hope it's a fueling issue. We've got issue. to do It's the elephant in the room. If we don't do this first, we can be messing about. So it'd be a real pain to be thinking, well, testing sensors and wiring. And then, oh, it still won't go. So the plan tonight, what are we going to do? We're going to take this fuel out. We're going to take the old fuel out, put hopefully. the new fuel in, and hopefully it'll be running fine. If the plan works. Okay, fair enough. Let's take a look at the engine bay. You've done a good job of that. Um, if it's not the fuel, and, and you might be clever enough to tell me, what is the issue with fuel? I've been what? reading the manual, mate. Oh, well, you tell me then. Well, it's... One of the things is idle control valve. That's what you're expecting it to yeah. be, right? I know the valve clearances are all right, because we did them when you fitted the MAF sensor. Yep. The new MAF sensor might have got dirty, yep. but they normally tick over all right with the faulty MAF sensor. Yeah, it's normally when you put your foot on the... They're flat as a pancake. goes flat as a pancake between one and two, doesn't yeah. it? I think, if it's anything, it'll be the idle control valve stuck. Okay, big job? I don't know, never done one yet. <laughs> so, so when I say it's running like a bag of nails, it, it accelerates on. fine and runs okay, yeah. but the idle is blah, 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 yeah, it's, it's not, not running right, basically. Yeah. We'll put the new fuel in. Yes. We'll see if it fixes the problem. If not, idle control valve. Well, I shall follow the diagnostics in the manual. Okay, good. How do we take the fuel out then? I'm guessing we, is a drain hole in the bottom of the no, fuel tank? No, it would be if it's an Ilman Minx. Aha! What have you done to, to prepare us for that then? Oh, hang on a minute, it's a van. <laughs> Back seat, out. Yeah. Then there's a plate on there, and that was disgusting, so I cleaned all that off because I had to, uh, it was absolutely full of mud and squad and Badges and all sorts in so there. So you've taken the rear bench seat out. Yeah. Easy job, a couple of couple of bolts. 
Yeah, normally the, the base will come out on its own, but you can't, you can't get the back hooks off. So it's four bolts, take the back bit out. Yeah. Then it's a, two clips at the front. Yeah. It sticks in holes there. In there and there. A couple of bolts there, yeah. it all comes out. Excellent, let's have a look at that. And there it is, there is the seat out and about. We can give that a good clean whilst it's out. Um, was it difficult to get out? No. No, good. So what's the plan then? Because I can see you've created some sort of contraption and hang on a minute, you've got a fire extinguisher. Uh-oh, I don't like the look of that. Uh, safety first. I haven't got any no smoking signs, but you no. don't smoke and I know not to do so. No, we won't be, you won't be having a uh, SIG on on this one. So you've got a contraption, talk us through it. You've got a piece of hose here. Where's that hose connected to? Oh, it's gone through the floor of the car. And out that side, okay. Uh, and this here is the fuel pump, I'm assuming. It'd be better if it was on a ramp and it would be up in the air, wouldn't it? Yeah. But we're not going to get much siphon power, but we've got, we're higher than the tubs, so. Yep. That traps contraptions your mums for doing gardening stuff. This so thing? If we melt it, this we're in thing. deep doo doo. But your mum's not here. No, she's not. No, she's uh, out and about tonight, so she doesn't know what we're getting up to. Um, Okay, so you've got this con uh, contraption. Sorry, I'm gone. We're going to open up the fuel tank and... Yep, we're going to take this screwed ring off. Yeah. I'll talk you through it when we do it. There is a proper tool for it, but we ain't got one of them. No. Nope. So we're going to do, we'll be careful and remove it with the care. With care. I've already marked it so that we've put everything back in the same place. Yep. Ish, right. Take it off, pump it out. Hopefully. What are we going to do with the NAF fuel? Well, if it's not enough, put it in your <laughs> put it in put it in your lawn mower. <laughs> right, let's get pumping. So I've took the fuel pipes off. Yes. And took them out of the way. Okay. Capped that off. Are they plastic fuel pipes or metal Rubber. fuel pipes? Rubber. Yeah. Hopefully, I can find them again. There it is. Look. So there should be a proper tool for this. I've marked it all, as I said. Yeah. Oh, that's a clever way of doing that, I see. I'm guessing it has some sort of gasket or seal on it. It has, it's got a rubber seal. Hopefully it'll not be... Worn. Knackered. So that's off. And that's what it looks like there. Aha, there's the fuel. You can see it in the tank. So let me just have a quick look in there. Oh, so there's inside the... It's the clip to the bottom of the tank. Oh, right, okay. I'm not going to take it out. Let's not do that, no. no. Right. So pop that in there. Let me go and put the end of this in the tank. So that's in your petrol tank. There's your pipe and the pipe goes all the way along here underneath the car past the fuel tank and into the floor. We've got the siphon in there, which is attached, as Dad says, one of Mum's gardening equipment things. Shall I give it a pump? No, not yet. Let's get some more tins out. We've got multiple tins ready as well because we think we're going to need them. Go, go, go. You look at your end. Yep. Oh, it's working. It's got an air leak. That's a clever way your, of doing it. You keep your eye on your tin. There it goes, into the tin. So we're not actually having to pump that, it's using gravity, it's actually a it's siphon. Siphoning, yeah. It's leaking around here, look, can you see? Oh, I can. Okay, so we've emptied as much as we can out of the tank with that uh, siphon system. 5, 10, 15, 20, we've got about 25 litres out, which is good news. Uh, we've got to just get the last bit out. What's the plan for getting the last bit out? So we're trying to soak the rest of it out, yeah. just to dry the bottom of that tank. I just don't want to leave much in. No, I understand. But also, we don't want to create a fire hazard. I tell you what I will do while I'm 
letting that soak. I want to retrieve my pipe. That's the way it went in. Go on then. That's the way the bugger went in. Oh, hang on. Oh dear. It'll be all right. Need to put some sand down there. Off she goes. Has it finished? It's, it's, yeah, it's finished, mate. We dropped, oh, yeah, blow down it. That's it. We dropped about, I don't know, 50 mil on the floor. There we go. What can we see in there? Not a lot, really. Let's light a match, see if we can see. Nissan micro problem solved. It's on fire. <laughs> Is that actually doing any good? Is it soaking any of that petrol up? Yes, mate. Oh, good. I'd just like to take that pump out to see if the sock's working. Yeah, can we test that pump while we're here? No, we don't need any electric anywhere. There's the transmitter. I may have to read the book. So Dad's had a thought or a contemplation that the fuel filter and the pump and everything in there could be all blocked up, all sludged up and gunked up. That's the petrol cage. I just need to we might have to look at our book, but I think we might get it out. Yeah. Oh, what's that you've got out of there? That's the fuel tank sender. Ah, that tells us that there's... It's clipped in. Fuel, so a, okay. And it sort of fits in like that and clips down on that clip. Okay, that's out then. So I have no. brought here the model K11 service manual volume one book for us, just yeah. in case. Just wanted to check that for... Out comes the fuel pump, which we had a little bit of a problem with, but thankfully we checked out the manual and Cornish Rob on YouTube, who showed us how to do it, is a clip oh, here. Oh, look at all that shite in there. Where, where, where? There. Oh yeah. There's a clip in there that you push down and then it pushes I'm forward. Bugger off quick. Goodbye. I'm just going to bugger off quick before it's going to be dribbling. Oh, it's full of all sorts in there. Um, what sort of things? Muck. Motorbikes. I'm surprised. I think that is part of the I'm problem, mate. we've gone this way. Yes. Cornish Rob. Cornish Rob was in the scrap yard. He was, wasn't he? Cornish yeah. Rob is the video we've just watched. So we're taking... What is that? It's like a reservoir, is it? It is, isn't it? Like a fuel pump reservoir off. I don't think there's... Oh, look at all that dirt in there. Yeah, it's not too bad with the screens messy. If these screens get water on them, you know, they won't, they won't, they won't let water through. Oh, right, okay. Oh, swarf. Let's have a look what we've got. Mm. Uh. Just let me have a look in there, please. There we go, mate. Ah. It's not totally blocked, though, is it? It isn't, mate, no. I'm going to pull out the Coupland phrase. We're not wasting our time, though. Did you say you were going to have a rant of the day? Yeah. Right, what's rant of the day? Crap, do your rant of the day before we finish this. Picking your Uncle Carl up from the hospital, coming through, past the shop there, lots of people going to get their beer and their Bird. crisps for the, yeah. night, you know, for the night. So once you get alongside them cars, you can't go anywhere, can you? No, and it's... so. It's, yeah, so there's a shop and then people park outside the shop. Yeah. But the people coming from this way officially have got right away. They've got right Can't away, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to be able to go anywhere once I've got alongside all them. No, because they normally park sort of five So or six a vehicle feet. comes storming up, and it's a special kind of vehicle, and I'm going to get you to guess what sort of vehicle. But no, listen, it's a lady driving it, and she keeps coming and keeps coming, and we have to squeeze past each other. Oh, dear. What sort of vehicle was it? I want to say an Audi. No, it was bigger than that. Uh, a Land Rover. Well, similar, more upmarket. Oh, uh, a Range Rover. Yes. Yeah, of course it was. Of co I've got right away and I'm bigger than, I'm considerably richer than Yao. Was it a white Range Rover? I don't know what colour it was. I could yeah. only see the woman <laughs> to see it, make sure that she could understand how I thanked her for letting me through. Yes, did you thank her with the words off and silly and cow? No, no, and no, you. I can't say what it was. <laughs>
So what you're saying is, common courtesy, even though she had the right of way, you was Anybody, already... Any human being would pull up, wouldn't they? I'm surprised it's not our local taxi firm. Uh, right, okay, so, so any, that's your rant Any of the human day. being would have pulled over, wouldn't they? Yeah. But you're all right, the car's okay? Yeah, there's enough room to get through. Anyway, back to fuel pumps. What's this that's in here? Dirt. How has dirt got in there? Old age. So why are you getting your blower out? Can't we just rinse it out in a bucket of water? No. So that's all cleaned out. I'm yeah. guessing it would take a lot of that stuff to block the uh, yeah, it's not blocked the fueling. Right. But again, it's not uh, a problem. We're taking that out. I think is it would be silly, Billy's not to do it while we're there. Exactly, we? it's doing a doing a job, isn't it? And that will clip back together then. Um, are we going to test the pump while we've got it out? I'm not going to be sticking electricity about. About this? No. No, fair enough. Huh, sand. Oh yeah, there's loads of, uh, what do they call it? Petrol. No. Um, Alluvium. No, it's... 50 uh, pound notes. Crack cocaine. <laughs> Are you doing a border force? Yeah. Style cavity search? Yeah. While we're doing this... Oh. Hey? Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Have you checked the petrol tank underneath to make sure it doesn't need replacing? Oh, it's plastic. Oh, there you go then. So yes. no new petrol tank needed. Petrol tanks have been plastic for years. I shall shut up. That's all right, mate. I'm learning. Never been inside a petrol tank. I think tank. some of that muck is coming through the filler neck. Yeah. Is it, is it rusty? Yeah. I think we need a filler neck. So the tank is all cleaned out and it's... Empty. In theory, what? In theory, we shall start putting it together. Well, that that was better than I expected. Put that in there. That's in there. That's in there. Let me just get it in my head how that works. In it goes. Which is better than a lot of ones. Yeah. Because some of them have like a big. You have to wedge them in a groove at the front and the floor. Well, it looked to me like a bayonet fitting when they I first looked a, at it. They have a big spring that wedges against the top. It's a bit of a feely job to put it in, but. And it's good, didn't it? It did. It's in. It clipped in. I didn't get the click, but it clipped in. Now to put the fuel sender back in. That goes up and down, look for your fuel, son. Yep. It's just like a bob weight, really, or like a... No, it's a float. Ball cock in your system. Uh, resistor there. Oh, it's on a resistor. Oh, I didn't see that. That's all it is. Oh, that's clever. It's been like that, you mate. Forever. Forever, yeah. <laughs> but they're a bit more industrial on the older ones. It's usually a big coil of wire. Which may, doesn't make sense that you've got a wire with a coil on it and electric running through it in the middle of your petrol. No. But I'm guessing it's quite low. The well, petrol's not flammable. It's the vapour, isn't it? Low voltage, yes. It's the vapour. And now to put it back together. We've just laughed and joked that we should have probably marked the fuel tins so we don't put the wrong stuff in. So just in case I forget, that's the good stuff. Put the good stuff that's in. That's why I wanted to use my old mucky tins. Don't put them in. To put the old stuff in. Put this in. What have you got there? Bit of silicone. Oh, silicone. Yeah. What's that? What's your top tip? Don't leave them off for too long. Oh, right. Why is that? Because the tanks can distort and you can't get that back on again. Ah, the tanks, okay. The plastic. So that being the top uh, ring, yeah. which holds everything in place, what's that you've just silicon then? Like a, a seal? A seal, yeah. Well, in let's face it, we should be changing that, shouldn't we? But we're not. We ain't got one, are we? No. We don't want to leave that off too long. Top tip. Hey, filming. Yeah, why, why? Look what I found under the seat. What on earth? It's an innocent smoothie. Uh, best before 30, 11, 2015. Sorry, just show me that again. An innocent smoothie. When have I ever bought an innocent... I've never bought that. It was under your seat. What's the year on it? Comment down below. Should I drink the innocent smoothie? <laughs> Right, so we've got that screwed back down. How are you going to line it back up again? Mark there, yep. mark there, mark there, mark there. So it's all in the right place. Good stuff. But it feels to me like it wants to go a bit more. Now. 
I'm guessing you can probably over tighten that though. Yeah. Crazed, that'll do. Right, I mark that. Gotta find the bugger and wires, Gromit. You've capped the end of them pipes. What have you capped them with? It's a Renault Fool Pipe blanking kit. Oh, right, so it is an actual thing? Yeah, it is. Well, it's a proper kit you buy for blanking the diesel pipes off on a Renault. Oh, it's good to have uh, one of them in stock. If you don't have one of them in stock, what would you use? Just don't blooming bother. Can I start putting some new fuel in? Yeah. Good idea. Remember, this is the new fuel. Right, let's pop some new fuel in here. Oh yeah. That fuel filler is a bit crusty, isn't it? The, the, the filler neck, it needs a new one. Yeah. As you can see in there, it is a little bit rotten. Is that a big job? No. As long as the back wing doesn't fall to bits, it doesn't look too bad around there. <laughs> That'd be bad, bad stuff. So shall I put all this in? I've got 10 litres here. Well, put blinking five. What do you reckon? It's gonna need it, isn't it? Let's put it in. We know that the tank is empty, don't we? Absolutely fully empty. And we know that this is good fuel because I've just been to Tesco and bought it. It is E5 that I'm putting in. E. E5. You're putting them fuel pipes back on. E5. E5. It's alive. That's Johnny 5, isn't it? No disassemble. <laughs> no disassemble, my Chris. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of disassembly. No disassemble. What do those cables do? Power the fuel tank. One's for the fuel pump, son, and one's for the uh, temp uh, temperature. The sender. The sender for the fuel gauge. You've just attached them. They've got like a clip, haven't they? Like a screw. Yeah, I marked them. Look, so because one's the return and one's the oh, fade. Oh yeah. Is that Nissan Micro Flame red paint? I'm not sure. <laughs> At I'm least you've sure. gone colour coded. I'm not sure, son. So that just clips on. They clip in, and then it screws on. You're going to drop it down, are you? I am, son. Yeah. I hope you're never doing a YouTube video in your loft then, because that's like one of them that's in your loft. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to my loft. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome to my loft. You don't want to be in my loft. It is, how would you describe my loft? A disgrace. It's full of artifacts. You may not know uh, this by watching the channel, but I'm a hoarder of more than just cars. It's taken a while to fill. Oh, we put loads of Red X in it, didn't we? Yeah. It's a shame. Yep. Full of petrol. Things I need to buy. A new fuel filler neck. Yeah, well. Worry. Hopefully they're available brand new. I would assume so. We'll worry about that. But yes, I'll worry about that later. What are you expecting? I'm expecting the worst. Oh dear, don't expect the worst. No, I don't think that's fixed it. Oh, right, okay. Right, so now we've got to test it, right? Yes. How are we going to test it? Just put your hand on there, see if you feel that buzz up. Oh, right, okay. It's not going not gonna to hurt me, is it? So this is out of cog. It won't start, because it's got to build up pressure. Yep. Can you feel it buzz? Not yet. No? Can't feel any buzzing. Ah, because the battery lead's not on. Ah, there we go, that's why. Ah, yeah. Do you feel the buzz? I can feel the... I can just try again. Go on. What I've done. Oh, no, I didn't feel it that time. Do not rev the engine. Still got a problem. Could it, could it be though that there's still existing stuff in the engine that needs to... Should have got out the injectors by now. We'll just roll it up. They check for leaks. Wah, wah. 
We're still not getting that fast idle, are we? Well, it was worth a go. We've not wasted We've anything. We've been idiots not to have done it. We've not wasted time anything. Took us. Dead. I can fix it. <laughs> Next! Give me that extra air valve. So we know we've got clean fuel. Yep. We know we've not got blocked filters. No. Nope. Is there anything under the bonnet that could be blocked? I think it's the extra air valve. Well, you it's said there's some sort of air in inlet yeah. valve. Yeah, it's a little thing that gives it... <laughs> we'll have a look at it. I'm going to go and rob the throttle body off one of them at your house. Go and rob the throttle body off that one at your house. Well, that museum, Micra. It's in the garage now. Is it? Yeah. She looks like a ladybird with a bonnet and her wings open. Run, run! Rev your micro. Do not rev your engine. Oh yeah. <laughs> All the way from Uganda. Just put your hand over the exhaust, see if there's any wind coming out. I'll tell you what is coming out. What? Rust. And water. Good. Well, it hadn't fixed that. It's a bit better, but it will be. It is a bit better. But it's not right. It's hadn't got the fast idle. Oh, it's a bit better. Better's Could it still be fuel in that system? Because it is be. getting better by the second. It's warming up, isn't it? But it's, it's the injectors, look. It's gone. Pss, pss, pss. And all the fuel lines was emptied. It's that little valve around the back of the thing in the Well, let's get it off then. I'm going to have my tea. <laughs> I've finished for today. Yeah, no worries. So that was the job for this afternoon into this evening. Dad is going to go and get his tea, and actually, I'm going to go see the sausage inspector. That being Crystal and nobody else that lives at my house before you say it. It is running better, but it's still not right. As Dad says, it's not running on that fast idle. Tomorrow, then, we're going to do some more work on it. We'll get there. But for now, it's not fixed the problem. It is better, and as Dad said, anything we're going to do to it, putting fresh fuel in, etc., is going to make it better. But it's not fixed the problem yet. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. There is going to be so much K11 micro content. I can sense it coming to the channel very soon. Comment down below if you've got any suggestions, please, because we're open to suggestions. We've got the book and I've got the legend that is Dad, but you might have had this problem and it could be something ridiculous. I'll be back then tomorrow doing more work on the K11 Micro, probably with some more petrol as well. It is sounding better, but it's not right yet. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.